breathing, also called ventilation, includes inspiration, expiration. The process of intake of atmospheric air is called as inspiration. The process in which alveolar air is pushed outside is called expiration. Air from outside is taken into the lungs, it is called inspiration. Now, there is exchange of gas inside the lungs and after exchange has occurred, that air which is present inside the alveolus is pushed outside, it is called as expiration. Now, inspiration. The mechanism of breathing includes two steps, inspiration and expiration. During inspiration, now for breathing, see a heart by itself can contract and relax because it is having myocardium. Inside the wall of the heart there are muscles. Inside the, the middle layer, the myocardium, we have cardiac muscles. But in case of lungs, in the, in the wall of the lungs, that skeletal muscles contracting capability, skeletal muscles are absent. But however, there are two sets of muscles, if, if this is the lung, we have got two sets of muscles. One is the lung, which, one is the muscle which is attached at the bottom to diaphragm. The muscles which are attached to diaphragm are called as phrenic muscles. Phrenic muscles. So when, when, when they contract, so you can see lungs expanding. So in this direction, in this direction it expands. But there are also muscles attached here, which are present, attached between lungs and the ribs. So they, 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 are, they are the muscles which are attached to the top of the ribs. So they are called as external intercostal muscles. External intercostal muscles. Muscles which are present attached to the tip of the rib. The superior aspect of rib on the outer side they are attached. So when they contract the lungs are expanding in this direction. So there are two sets of muscles which are facilitating breathing. One is the external intercostal muscles and other is the phrenic muscles. Now at the time of inspiration. Initially, initially, the, the diaphragm is dome shaped. A diaphragm is a muscular partition present between thorax and abdomen in case of mammals. In case of mammals only, there is a muscular partition present between thorax and abdomen, these two. So it's called diaphragm. So at the time of inspiration, you can see diaphragm has come downwards. So when diaphragm has come downwards, so it has come downwards from, from, from its previous place, it has come downwards. So anterior posteriorly, I am seeing this is the anterior, this is the posterior end. Now anterior posterior direction, the thoracic cavity has increased. The cavity inside the thorax has increased. And then if you observe from the side view, if I observe, now during inspiration, the external intercostal muscles also will contract. So when they contract, you can see from here, So from here, the rib, has, rib case has moved forwards. So this is the dorsal side, this is ventral side, this is, this is dorsoventral direction. So during inspiration, inspiration is an active process, firstly. Active process means it, it requires spending of energy. So during this active process, two sets of muscles are contracting. One is the phrenic muscles are contracting. 
free neck muscles are attached to diaphragm so diaphragm has come down anterior posterior direction and external intercostal muscles have also contracted so that has increased the thoracic cavity in the dorsal ventral direction so during inspiration because of contraction of free neck muscles because of contraction of free neck muscles in the anterior posterior direction thoracic cavity has increased and in the dorsal ventral direction in the dorsal ventral direction the thoracic cavity has increased when external intercostal muscles also have contracted so because of the contraction of both these muscles the thoracic cavity the thoracic cavity has increased once the thoracic cavity has increased the pulmonary volume pulmonary means lungs so this is a lung so once this underwent contraction it came downwards it came downwards like this the cavity inside the lungs have increased so from smaller lung the lung has increased so once the thoracic cavity has increased pulmonary volume increases pulmonary means lungs so volume inside the lungs has increased so pressure inside the lungs will reduce whenever volume increases pressure decreases so pressure here is less when compared to atmospheric pressure so air will easily move from outside to inside gases will always move from high pressure to low pressure so as such if the air has to move from outside to inside pressure inside has to reduce pressure will reduce when pulmonary volume increases pulmonary volume increases whenever thoracic volume increases thoracic volume has increased whenever both the muscles have underwent contraction so inspiration is a active process that is followed by expiration expiration is a passive process it is a passive process having said that passive means it doesn't require any spending of energy now from here rib cage has moved backwards from here diaphragm has moved backwards the muscles which were previously in contracted state i mean the free neck muscles the flat free neck muscles the flat diaphragm because of contraction of um and that uh, free neck muscles so they will relax again diaphragm becomes doom shaped and uh, the external intercostal muscles will undergo contraction the rib cage goes back to its original position it goes back to its original position in the dorsal ventral direction so free neck muscles will undergo relaxation external intercostal muscles will undergo relaxation here anterior posteriorly cavity is reduced dorsal ventrally cavity is reduced from this it will come back to this from here it will come back to this so when it will revert back to its original position the thoracic cavity inside will automatically reduce once the thoracic cavity has underwent reduction pulmonary volume which is large here has reduced it has reduced so pressure inside will be more pressure inside will be in, in the pressure outside will be less so here thoracic volume has reduced pulmonary volume has reduced so pressure inside will be more and pressure outside will be less so gases will move from high pressure to low pressure so air will be pushed back from inside to outside so that is the process of expiration but then there are also other sets of muscles called internal intercostal muscles internal intercostal muscles and also abdominal muscles see there are other there are other two sets of muscles previously we discussed about intercostal muscles external intercostal muscles intercostal muscles are the muscles present in between the ribs if they are present outside external if they are present inside internal internal intercostal muscles they remain quiet during normal breathing but they work during forceful expiration the internal intercostal muscles the lateral abdominal muscles they will undergo contraction at the time of forced breathing 